Yo, joy to the world, it's a wet Monday morning, yay! So the Papakofi job right now is the perfect example of when to persevere in the rain for the greater good. The boys last week did a couple of extra hours and put a push on to get the roof down and it's like a, a day like today or a week like today where there's like rain day after day after day. I'm so glad that we did that because now the guys are there doing inside work, the roof is on so the frames can stay dry. Yeah, essentially that job's closed in, locked up, weather tight and safe. We're just gonna go home and I'm gonna get a change of clothes so I can keep working. Let's jump in the car and talk about how to deal with the rain. So in this video today, I'm gonna tell you about how I deal with the rain. I'm gonna tell you about one of my worst days on site and some of the tips for staying safe. So you know the virtual subdivision it's all happening up there well it's all supposed to be happening but the rain has definitely put the brakes on that drain layers are on site and they are digging a massive hole to put the services in and the driveway has been cut open and they're trying to connect the new power up but basically all of that's come to a groaning halt the boys and i were there this morning putting the string lines back up for the subfloor drains. This is like a lot of terminology in a little <laughs> in a little video. Yeah, basically I was trying to coordinate the drain layer, the power company and the builders and the plumber. And in the end, we ended up bumping a lot of those things. So that's probably part one of managing in the rain is you just move things along if you can. We actually, I went to the Akutara sections as well. We quickly shot a few heights. One of those sets of plans is just about to come out of council and we just needed to confirm something. And the other one has had a whole bunch of extras added to it, which I'm pricing up this week. That is a perfect rainy day job, sit in the office. Maybe we should queue a time lapse of the office work. why it's important to talk about the rain is because we can't control it like we can plan for everything to go well on site one of the things that we can't plan for is the weather and it's not just the rain but like last week at one of our job sites the wind was so strong that it blew all the portaloos over in the subdivision and so then you know part of my morning was sending someone up there to pick the portaloo up and then getting the portaloo company back to come and clean it like the little things that people don't realize that you know how much impact the weather has on the building industry and then how much impact that has on that handover date and you can allow for down days in your timeline like you should and it's good to allow for time down days but they just get gobbled up so quickly and then you're still like under the pump so stick around and I'll tell you how I deal with the wet days One good thing about the rain is that um, my grass is growing. <laughs> Small mercies. So I think one of the first things, well, one of the first things is you need to have a good wet weather jacket. It's probably going to start permanently hanging up on the chair. I've been in the rain all morning and I'm a little bit wet, but for the most part, my core is nice and dry. Obviously, it'd be a different story if I was swinging a hammer on site all day. And for the record, I don't expect my workers to work in the rain. Leave that choice up to them. There's times where it's okay to just call it quits and pack up and 
head home and there's other times where if we persevere for an hour or two it will make a big difference to job and obviously always making sure that you're safe i'll go outside and we'll take my gumboots off and then i say tip two have a good pair of gumboots <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you have a good pair of gumboots. And hot drinks are a must. I know you're probably thinking, what are you moaning about? You uh, like the builder boss, you just drive around in the ute and drink coffee all day. But I wasn't always the boss and I did a building apprenticeship and a lot of that was working in the rain. So how about we do today's Smoko Chat all about apprenticeships in the rain. Cue the cheesy intro. Smoko. <laughs> So I remember a time when I was just about qualified. I think I was qualified. We were doing a Reno extension on the back of a house and we had to dig footings 800 deep. And then I turned up to work one day as a qualified 29 year old and my job, literal job for the day, on my hands and knees, in the rain, I had to scoop up all the base course that had been falling into the trench and get it out because I worked for a small team and we were all older, we were all qualified, so someone had to do that kind of work and I absolutely hated it. It was one of those days where I was like, what am I doing with my life? But the funny thing is now, I've had even worse days than that, my worst day on site. I made a video about that last year. You know, you can see me in my yellow jacket and the rain dribbling on my face. And I talk about how when I was an apprentice, I didn't believe in owning a jacket. I, I, I didn't believe in wet weather's gears because I didn't believe in working in the rain, even though I was always made to work in the rain and then I'd get soaked and it would compound that thing even worse. And so as you kind of work towards getting qualified and then you start running your own jobs or working on your own jobs, your view on the weather changes. Don't get me wrong, it's still a love-hate relationship. Like I do not love the rain, I don't, it, it makes everything on site hard. There's times to put the jacket on, there's times to get stuck in, and there's times to call quits. And so if you're an apprentice working for someone, basically it's probably your boss's job to work that out. And one thing I could encourage you is just have a good attitude about it. And find some ways to make it a small win. Know that no matter what, at five o'clock that night, you're gonna clock out, you can go home, you can make a hot drink, you can jump in a warm shower and melt away the day's problems. And until that point, just one foot after the other, one step after the other, just keep going. And let's face it, if you're in New Zealand and you're a residential builder, it's highly likely that you're gonna be working in the rain. Especially for Wellington, we get a lot of rain and we'll put the amount of rain days right here. But basically it means that you are more than likely going to be working in the rain. Get the right gear, get a good jacket and boots and even get a pair of gloves. And, and even I would have a spare set of clothes in the car. Make sure that you layer up as well, that you've got like a good base layer, a good jersey, and then something under your jacket. Cause the last thing you want to be doing is being cold and wet. You take a sight, and it's dry and it's easy to walk around you can walk around in your normal work boot as soon as that rain hits it that surface gets slick and it gets muddy and the mud starts to clump to your shoes and then just kind of be aware of the mud that you're clumping everywhere like any mud that you're walking in and out and around is you're going to have to clean up later from a health and safety point of view if you're slipping around and you're on a slopey site pretty much it's the day's over you've got to come back when it's dry if you're working on a scaffold it's not so bad those those scaffold planks you know they've got grip and tread in them or the holes for drainage if you're working on a flat surface more than likely you'll be okay. So that was a pretty brief smoko chat today. As an apprentice, I've had my fair share of working in the rain. I know what it's like, it sucks. If you've got a few rainy days coming up, I just encourage you, 
Find your own way to persevere, enjoy your hot drinks, get some good gear. If you've got a smoker chat question, comment below and maybe we'll include you on the next round. Yo, I'll just light the fire for Katie and then we will um, head back to the office. You know, happy, happy wife, happy life. What a caring husband I am. <laughs> Insert. Where's my washing line? <laughs> <laughs> Josh, the washing line. Josh, the washing line. It looks precarious, but what happens is the ash drops down onto the big one. Fire's lit, fresh clothes, we've had a coffee, let's go back to the office. See you later. What's the plan, Sam? Stay out of the rain. <laughs> Should we update everyone on all the sites and where they're at? Sure. Why for two? That house got picked up the other day. Picked up on the jacks and is going to get moved this week. Sam and Marco moved all the boxing from Papakofi to the virtual house. Croft and Downs, the carpet went down last week and we're just waiting on the kitchen bench top and the guys have been doing some fencing at the section nobody wanted just working on that outside landscape to-do list making some good progress and i put up another washing line there's three washing lines now uh, that i put up since that video If you're still watching at this point, thanks so much. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead, click subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next building vlog.